Howdy, howdy, howdy. So, I... <laughs> oh, it's so weird to like put videos up and talk about it, but I've been doing this for three years on LinkedIn, so I don't know why it's crazy to talk about freezing my eggs and how I haven't been able to freeze my eggs and I'm trying to date in a lockdown and <laughs> there's this whole contagion feeling. So let's go back to the root of this story, which is... I have always dreamt about having a really big family and if you look at my yearbook, my yearbook tells you I want to have 10 children. <laughs> and um, you know, I've been in relationships hoping that these men would be the father of my children. Clearly hasn't worked out because I am at the tender age of 35 years old. And I've had a really big evolution in the last 12 months of figuring out that the biggest love that I could ever do to myself is to love this thing here, this beautiful human being, this beautiful human being that bought these glasses that she'll look hot on Zoom and that, uh, that for many of my life years, I've been projecting a kind of love that was very unhealthy for myself and really unfair for my partners, future partners, past partners. And it all happened 12 months ago. I read a book called Attached. I will promote this book because it, it didn't solve everything, but it guided me to the steps that I needed to be where I am now. <sighs> so what's the update? Uh, I don't have 10 children. I've reduced it down to five because I've been told that economically 10 kids is a bit hard and at the age of 35, I need to be pushing out 10 kids up to the age of 45 to 50 years old. So I want to maintain my body, my vivacious body. So, so, so what happened was that in September, I went to, I went to Sydney with my mum uh, to my cousin's wedding, like a second cousin's wedding. And my mum was just so aggressive about me having children. She was disappointed. She was like telling my auntie, like she was worried about me. And then something clicked in my head. And I just went to my mum in the kitchen with my auntie there and said, mum, I'm going to freeze my eggs. I don't know what happened, but that was my guttural feeling to stop her from being worried. Because I know this is from care. Like my mum came here by boat when she was 29 and had me when I was 30. Like had me when she was 30. So I guess for her to see her daughter to be 35, not have any potential bachelors around, no potential sperm donors or sperm people around. She did, she was freaking out and I understand that. However, that kind of mentality and stress that placed on me and it also placed an expectation of love on someone else was too much. So I felt like in that moment it had to happen and I said it to her and you know what, when I said that, mum, I'm gonna freeze my eggs, I felt my whole being just whoosh out and ease out um, because one, I don't want to pressure someone to love me uh, just because I want to have a baby. And number two, statistically we know that you can have a baby with someone, but you don't want to have a baby with a douchebag. And I've learned that from my friends, they've told me that, that you are spending 18 years with someone. And so you want them to be respectful and kind and caring um, and someone that you can actually have a companionship if the relationship doesn't work out. And that won't happen if you rush into finding someone just because your biological clock is telling you to hurry the fuck up. So I told my ovaries to shut the fuck up and I posted a video on LinkedIn and it, it went viral on LinkedIn because the first time someone was talking about freezing their eggs on a business platform and it was so magical not because i spoke from my own perspective as a woman but i in the comments men were saying i feel pressured to uh to have a balance of life um the time's going way too fast and i'm very i was so grateful that my story was able to connect people so that was September. I was really firm on freezing my eggs in September. And, and then this all fuckery started to happen. So um, I had my egg count tested. So that's the next part of it. So you don't just go freeze your eggs. 
you actually go and find out where your egg count is. And my egg count is actually in the, the average. So I'm healthy for a 35 year old. Um, I was told not to worry. But in me, knowing that I am in an explosion of my career, I am enjoying my work. And as I said, I didn't want that rush to find someone to love me. Um, I still was determined to freeze my eggs. Now, this is something you didn't know, which was that uh, I was going to freeze my eggs after the comedy festival. So um, from October to March, I've been working on the comedy festival and putting money into shows. I was producing three shows. So producing my stand-up show, Chasing Keanu Reeves. I was producing Deadly and Diverse, which was a Sunday afternoon show every week and i was producing a a comedy venue with 10 acts so over those four to five months i was investing my own money i was investing my own time and the outcome was that once comedy festival ended i would take the money that i had broken even to go and get my eggs frozen and um what happened march COVID fucking hit me in the face and I lost the $11,000. I was going to make profit uh, just so I can have a couple of months to live and maybe go to Spain, but I lost $11,000. Um, I was really lucky that I had a community of people who helped me crowdfund um, to get me through the, the last couple of months. But that money was meant to help me stop being stressed out. <laughs> and it's so hard. Like I'm trying not to be stressed out about freezing my eggs and about money, but it is so hard when the world is in crisis. Um, you know, we're living month by month, just trying to pivot and adapt. And as an artist, you know, we, didn't, we are fucked by the federal government. Um, I, that 11K is gone. Um, I've, I've gotten JobKeeper to help me survive, but there's literally no savings for me right now. And I don't know when I can freeze my eggs. <laughs> and um, my anxiety has really amped up because, you know, I'm on these dating apps trying to um, find a companion, find someone in this interim to fertilize my sexuality my womanhood and um it is really hard and i understand it's about health and it's all that but for anyone that is wanting to have a child or wanting to meet people i feel like because of this pandemic i don't know when it's gonna end and i don't know when i'm gonna meet this person because you know that i i i even make videos I perform, I'm a comedian, I'm gregarious, I'm confident, but I don't want to force love. I don't want to force my biological clock again to amp up and and just try to fuck what I've been working so hard for for the last 10 to 12 months. Um, I want to have a family and my sister just had a family and and I look at her and how happy she is and what a beautiful child she's given birth to and a generation that my mother has worked so hard for us to be where we are. Oh God, and dating, oh my God, dating on apps is so fucking ridiculous. I have tried to avoid it, but it's the only way, unless I go to the supermarket and try to pick up someone in the aisle, which would be great. But I, I'm being proactive. Before COVID, I was really proactive meeting people, going out for drinks, and just having that flow of saying yes and no, yes and no. And with COVID, it's like there is this prohibit, this, this um, self-containment that we're having because one, we don't want to spread this disease, this virus. We don't want to get our, our family sick. Um, we, I want to respect the law. Um, but in the same time, it's so jarring because all I want to do is have babies. <laughs> Um, and look, I could go and save another $11,000 and get my eggs frozen. Um, but that's not happening at the moment because um, right now my paycheck is going to where I'm living. I'm putting a bit of money into savings so that when I don't get screwed by this pandemic. <sighs> so 
if anyone is up for a <laughs> Zoom date, especially on LinkedIn, I do make jokes about dating on LinkedIn because it is a business platform. There's a photo that you've got a job. Um, but yeah, it's this pandemic is really, really, it's stopping me from getting to that next stage, which I was raving for and I'd done so much work on myself <sighs> like I just, just just would love to lie in bed sit on a couch and lean into someone and just say hey how was your day and then from that do we seek you know understanding compassion and care for each other and then you go let's have a baby um, but I do understand that I will not let this stop me from having a family. Um, I know that if I don't meet the one or my current companion, then I, I can have a child on my own. But for me, I do believe in love. <laughs> I love snuggles. I love people. And um, yeah. Oh, I wonder how you're feeling with all this. Have you felt like this pandemic stopped you? And if you've got any tips on how you've moved on forward. Um, I, I've been doing meditation. I've been ugh, breathing. I have coaches who are helping me through this period. Um, but yeah, it's, it's real. Like this pandemic is stopping us from move, For me is to meet a lover that I could possibly have a child with and um, yeah I want to freeze my eggs if I can't do that like let's freeze them <laughs> anyway yeah thanks thanks for Oh, freeze my eggs, man. How? How do I fucking freeze my eggs in a pandemic? Is that even essential? <laughs> Is freezing my eggs even an essential act? <laughs> uh, Alright, see ya. <laughs>